person asks, is there any way to prevent the head gasket issue on the 1.5 model? Uh, this is a question I get asked all the time. I've never really addressed it. Um, not just 1.5, 2.0, uh, turbo, non-turbo, and hybrid. I've seen this on Acura's, Honda's, uh, from RDX 2.0 to the Integra. People have been telling me uh, to even newer generation CRVs and Accords. Now, there is a lot of variables having to do with this. Obviously, the 2.0 engine is a lot bigger and has a lot better heat dissipation in the Accord 2.0. Um, the Acura, you know, I, I would say the same thing about it. Uh, but there's there's a lot of variables, okay? Range, ranging from models from Civic to Accord to Type R to Hybrid. Uh, but one thing all these vehicles share is the same block design. Now, take what I say with a grain of salt. This is just my speculation on it, what I believe is happening and over pattern failure with this, with not just with these models, but with other manufacturers that are also out there. So just purely speculation, people. Nothing when I say is set in stone. So let's go ahead and just get into it. All right, 1.5 head gasket. Let's talk about it. This is the gasket right here, right here, which you see. Um, see how we have this black Teflon material all around the gasket and see how it's missing right here? This is where the leak is. Now, I say this is where the leak is because there is a little slit that runs from this hole right here all the way down to this passage that is right here. So it, there's a slit that runs across the cylinder and what happens is coolant passes through there and over time and over a lot of heat, the coolant starts to push out and disintegrate this gasket and it starts leaking into the cylinder. This is the layout of the cylinder as we can see right here. There are these little slits. This is cylinder number one, two, three, and four at the very top. The area of heat where it's most concentrated is cylinder two and three because the turbo sits right here. Turbo is mounted to the head and sits right here. And so there's a lot of heat concentrated in this area, which is a big problem. Um, paired as well with low torquing head bolts. A lot of people say that the head bolts lose their torque. No, they're just torqued very low. I think when I torque them after the degrees, it torques up to like... I don't know, it varies like 48 to like 55 foot pounds sometimes. This is a problem with this block. Um, it's the block layout, it's the design, it's these slits. I believe very much so. If these slits weren't there, this wouldn't be such a problem and the 1.5 engine would be a very good engine. Finest turbo injectors, but turbos in California are covered up to 15 years, 150,000 miles. Injectors is like eight years, 70 or 80,000 miles, don't quote me on it. But this design, has been seen in other manufacturers and it's been a fail. It's been a fail in other manufacturers. Let me show you another block. This is the block we're currently dealing with. We have this slit on top, which is in pretty much every cylinder. What we have here is same block pretty much, but this is a 1.5 EcoBoost engine. This is a very big problem on Ford side back starting in like, I don't know, like 2016 and on. Don't quote me out there. But this was a big problem. Get calls in to the insurance company because I worked at an insurance company and they'd be like, hey, I got this Ford smoking, number three misfire, it needs a head gasket and it needs a block. We would automatically deny these engines every time. I get at least 20 or 30 calls a day with Ford EcoBoost problems and they needed an engine, not a, not a head gasket, an engine. Ford came out with Bulletin 192139, 1.5 EcoBoost, low coolant, wide exhaust, smoke, and or illuminated mill built before April, 2019. When this bulletin, let's go ahead and read it. They say some 2014, oh, it was 2014, 19 fusion vehicles built before 20, February 21st uh, and 2017, 19 escape vehicles built on or before the 19th, whatever, 1.5 engine EcoBoost. And I believe this was also the 2.0 engine they had. Um, they would talk about the mill coming off uh, 1299, all these codes. And this would say, this may be due to a coolant intrusion into the cylinder to correct the condition, follow the service procedure. And you're like, well, what's the correct condition? And if you look at the parts right here, it says uh, short block head gasket. They wanted you to replace a short block because they updated it. Because Ford acknowledged that that was a problem in their design, that the slit was causing these head gasket failures, or I guess these coolant intrusion because the head gasket wasn't the problem. It was the block. So what did Ford end up doing? They ended up updating the block. Like you see, they took out the slit, put a pinhole in, and it went to the other side to correct this condition. Uh, let me show you another engine. This what I have behind me is a 3.6 Pentastar engine. 
I cannot tell you how many times I had to get three, six calls in for head gaskets. And it was obvious and back then. And I didn't know why, you know, but now that I'm looking at this design, what are these, what do these share in common? We have the slit in between the cylinders this is no good. Oh, a lot of people do say that it's the head bolt being so thin, um, but I believe it's a clamping force. Right here, what you see is a pen. And right behind the pen is the stock head bolt of these L15 engines. Um, I know the same size, but the ARP head bolts as well, or studs, are about the same size as this pen also. Now here, what I'm doing, this is an ARP he head stud install. Um, was not able to get them this time because they were not available and this person needed their vehicle back. Now, the only difference between this and the OEM head bolts, let me show you. So I'm here, forking a head bolt. Um, I did put studs in this one in particular. Usually always try to do that, but let me show you what ends up happening right here. Torque down the stud. Um, this one's torqued to 70 foot pounds. These ARP heads does torque at 70 foot pounds. Uh, Honda OEM, um, if you go by their manual at that degree, you go 22 foot pounds and it's either 120 or 140 degrees. I can't remember right now off the top of my head. But they only torque down to like 45, 50 foot pounds at most. And right here, look, I'm pointing at it. It's 70 foot pounds. And I've even heard people torquing them down to 80 because the clamping force brings it down and that head gasket is able to hold a lot better. And over time, I think that this is a good um, alternative, you know, if you have one of these engines. Now, I do believe that the ARP headsets will help prolong the failure. I, I tell people like, look, if you plan on keeping the car, let's put some ARP studs in it. If you don't plan on keeping the car, then yeah, let's just roll with the original head studs and you could sell it or do whatever you want with it you know um that's just my take on it i i do believe if you plan on keeping the car and you have a failure like this do do put the arp heads that's in as you know you'll be able to clamp it and sandwich down that head gasket a lot more um vehicles affected oh man uh from what i've seen pretty much any 1.5 even the newer gens the newer gens hybrids as well um and I'm not talking just um, the Civics and Accords. I'm talking CRVs, the Integra, um, Accord 2.0. I know some people with some FK8s who've had head gasket problems. Um, uh, the only the only difference between all of these vehicles is that the Accord we see it more on the Accord is because I believe it's the engine layout in that engine bay. It's way too tight. Heat cannot dissipate as well as the CRV and the Civic. Um, the 2.0 is a bigger engine, can handle it a lot better. And uh, same thing with the RDX. The RDX can handle that, but I do see it on the RDX as well. It's a 2.0 engine. Type R, the Type R has a big engine bay with a lot of cooling in there. So I don't see the Type R being as much affected, um, especially since it's a bigger engine. Now, at the same time, take what I say with a grain of salt, people. I'm just going off from what I see. And nothing I say is definitive, but I'm seeing pattern failures and um, I've seen pattern failures, this same pattern failure in other manufacturers, so. Um, there you guys have it.